Hi everyone, James here from F9 Audio and the Freemasons and today we're incredibly proud to present to you the result of three months solid work at F9. This is the F9 toolkit for Logic X and Logic 9. Now this actually came about after a conversation we were having with one of the UK's finest and most decorated songwriters. The idea was simple, create a set of professional level sounds that come up as channel strips with all the processing applied, they sound great and they work together. That's exactly what we've been able to achieve thanks to some of the advanced sampling techniques we've developed at F9. And we're very proud to say that even with just the ESX24 and the built-in plug-in set within Logic, we are now able to get productions to sound like this. Hopefully by now you will have heard a lot of the audio demos for this release. If not, we do encourage you to go to the product pages and check them out because it will give you a great idea of the quality and breadth of the sounds included and also how this pack can work in pretty much any genre of melodic music. Anyone purchasing the deluxe version of the toolkit will also get the five complete Logic Arrange pages that we use to make the main audio demos. Now this includes all of the MIDI and when you dig into them you can see all of the production and mixing tricks that we used. Deluxe users will also get a whole selection of songwriter startup pages with a load of the content already set up on the Arrange page and ready to go. It's the perfect way to start writing. There's even a basic beat on most of them. Now you can always access the sounds that we've installed using the ESX24 menu, but the power of the toolkit really comes into play with the channel strips because we were able to set up an individual processing chain for every single patch. And now for this pack's killer feature. When we came to do the channel strips for the drums, we leveled the principal drum instruments like kicks, snares and claps to a certain operating level. And it's roughly between K-12 and minus 10. So basically, that gives you tons of headroom whilst you're actually working. So in practice, it means you can pull these channel strips up, actually start to build a production from scratch, safe in the knowledge that you're already building in headroom to your production, and that when you come to add things like live instruments, vocals to it, there's going to be tons and tons of room to play with, and not everything's going to be in the red. Now, this is a step apart from how most soundware is delivered, where everything is normalized and through the roof, which is a very difficult operating environment to be in. We think we've nailed a very fast workflow with this pack, and we hope you get as much enjoyment out of using it as we do here. Okay, so now let's have a look at the sounds, and I've got open one of the five arrangement pages that comes with the Deluxe Edition. This is used in one of the audio demos, and as you see, it's just triggering MIDI and EXS24 instruments. <laughs> Now, in this video, we're going to concentrate just on the drums. So let's have a look at some of the patches that we're using here. We're using the Urban Kick menu. Now, in each of the drum menus, there are at least 24 different samples mapped across your MIDI keyboard. So that effectively gives you two octaves for each patch. This is the Urban Kicks patch. And I hope you can hear there that these aren't shy. These will cut through really well on a mix. And one thing I want to say about all the drums, all 1,700 of them, or more than that, I think, have been handpicked. And they've been handpicked to make sure that they work inside a contemporary production. Uh, let's look at this next patch, which is the snares. We've called that patch hybrid snares because it's, each sound is made up of a series of layers. You've got some noise layers, pitch layers, reverberated layers, thickening layers, and then a bit of foley knocking around here and there as well. Um, and one thing we're quite proud of in this pack is that every patch has its own kind of personality. Here's another one. It's the Uber snare patch, but it's being sent through one of the cavernous um, impulse responses that we've included with the pack and then overdriven and distorted and compressed afterwards. <laughs> We 
We definitely wanted a slightly cinematic feel to parts of this pack as well. So we've got here a menu of what we call trailer slams, which are those big massed drum ensembles um, with tons of sub, tons of reverb and tons of weight to them. Now I'm just going to go a little bit further on on the track, solo the entire rhythm track and play back from there so you can hear the power of these sounds coming pretty much straight out of the channel strips that they are provided with. So now let's have a look at some of these sounds in more detail. So I've got a completely blank page. Uh, I do have my MPC swings in, so I'm just going to let's go for about 55%. Uh, now I'm going to add, by pressing the new tracks button, about 10 software instruments. Hit create. They're all down there. And we'll select the first one. Now this is really important. We're going to go and open the library where all of the channel strips live. So we press the library tab right up here on the top left of Logic's GUI. And we're going to navigate uh, user channel strips, Logic X toolkit instruments. There they are. And here we can start all of our list. Drums and percussion, synth bass, live bass, pads, pianos, plucks and mallets, polys, guitars and leads. So we've done quite a good job of kind of honing everything down per instrument type. But we're going to start with the drums and we're going to start with the kicks. So we've got 808 kicks, 24 separate 808 kicks that have been carefully processed to really work. Now, I just also wanted to show you there from the level meters, nothing's really clipping into the red. It's all carefully leveled. And you'll find that if you're using one of the kicks from this pack, when you then go to use the claps or the snares or something like that on top of it, the levels will work together. One of my favorite patches now, Club Kicks, and it's a patch that I find incredibly versatile and it works on anything that's going near a club system. This is the EDM kicks patch. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Next up, kick explosions. It's going through one of the high quality IRs that we created for this pack. Uh, loads more additional processing just to bring it out. And it's perfect for the beginnings of breakdowns. Okay, moving on. Machine kicks. So once again, 24 uh, samples mapped out across two octaves of a MIDI keyboard or pad controller. And these are kick drums from famous drum machines that have been carefully processed with a little bit of ambience, nice bit of compression and lots and lots of outboard EQ and uh, detail. Now, a few of you may be saying, well, why have you put the ambience on? I want them pure. Well, there's tons and tons of examples of all of these drum machines completely dry, recorded through tape, recorded through outboard, etc., etc. That's not what we're trying to do here. We've created a series of patches that you can bring into any contemporary production, and they will just fit because all of the processing is already applied. Now, also, and very importantly, all of the individual sounds that lie within each menu are leveled so that they're pretty much at a constant value. Now that means you can use Logic's MIDI transposition to quickly audition different samples within the same menu. Now just that one bit of functionality there can be incredibly useful and powerful when you're working because it allows you to swap the sounds out and make production and sonic decisions very quickly. Okay, let's fire through the rest of these kicks quickly. We've got the stadium kick menu. As part of the creative sessions to make this pack, we actually did a full day recording acoustic drums and then mangling them beyond belief. You'll hear more of the results of that uh, in later menus. Let's just fire through the rest. We've got tight kicks. 
Now, this is actually the club kick sample set, but we've gone in and individually retailored the uh, tail end of each kick to shorten them. So it makes them perfect for things like drum and bass where you've got a lot of sub information floating around or for things like new disco when the bass line is moving dramatically and going on an awful lot of notes. And the last menu within the kicks is urban kicks, which you heard earlier on. So now let's start to look at the clap patches and we're going to include within that finger clicks, we've got this menu of 24 samples here. A really contemporary patch now, hybrid claps. Each clap sound within this menu has a degree of kind of preemptive and granulated uh, audio information. So there's a kind of attack phase into the main clap sound. With this additional preemptive information at the front of the clap sound, you are going to have to shift the MIDI regions back. So we've also created a version of the hybrid claps patch um, with all of that information lopped off so they just fire the moment you hit the key. Next up is a whole selection of rather thick live claps. Now you'll notice we've got overdrive and compression going on within this patch. If you don't like that kind of overprocessing, simply turn the plugins that you don't need off. Another machine patch now, we've got 24 clap samples that have come out of everyone's favourite drum machines, but once again, pre-processed and ready directly for production. Another really contemporary patch now, minimal claps. These are tight, they're short, they're uh, controlled ambience, and they'll sit perfectly in things like Deep House or Future Bass. Now, don't worry, we're not going to go through every single drum patch in the pack, but it is important that you hear the principal kick, clap and snare sounds because they will often set the overall flavour for your production. One patch that I do want to show you now is the Uber Funk Kit. This is a completely hybrid drum patch. It is made of an amalgamation between machine samples and live acoustic drums, but with eight times round robin on each hit. Now that means that you can do fills like that and every sound will be subtly different so it sounds way more natural. We've also got three separate snare drums. And two different kicks. And you'll hear that it's got great velocity layers. So you can really get some great expression, but with a completely contemporary and modern sound. To my knowledge, this has never been done before, and we're really proud of this patch. We have had to keep the hi-hats separate so that we could uh, run mute groups within Logic 9. And again, we've got eight times round robin on the hi-hats just to make sure that when you're programming patterns, they're going to sound completely natural. If you're into your new disco in soul, this patch will be with you for years. Okay, now let's have a look at the snares and we're going to start with the 808 or 808 styled snares. Tons of options there. Some of them are from additional uh, analog style drum machines like a 606, and there's a lot of layered ones in there as well. We've got the pitch wheel set to uh, a 24 transposition value, so you can do this kind of feel. We've also got a patch where it's the same set of samples but going through Logic's actually brilliant guitar amp. A great lo-fi alternative. Hybrid snares, similar thing to hybrid claps. There is an alternate version of that uh, particular patch called Hybrid Snares Short, where we've gone in and uh, tailored the decay portion of the snare so it's much tighter. Machine snares, once again, a selection of sounds from everybody's favorite drum machines. Beautifully processed and ready for action. Rim shots.
A great mixture of live and machine rims in there. And once again, we've got uh, a patch where it's going through Logic's excellent guitar amp. Now for one of the most complex patches that uh, we've made throughout this entire release, the Uber Snares. A huge amount of work went into this particular patch because it's multi-layered, uh, but there's also lots of post-processing to make sure that there's just enough transients and that these snares will work from anything from quite hard hip-hop all the way up to full-on drum and bass. You've heard the Uber Snare Explosion patch earlier on. And to round things off, a selection of urban snares. We also find this patch particularly useful for jacking house beats. Now, as I'm sure you can see here, there's a huge amount of content and detail in these drum patches. Let me show you some of the highlights of the percussion. You've got a menu of 24 layered percussion sounds. A live conga patch. Live bongos. Timbale fills. Reverberant percussion. And two massive menus of hand percussion. as well as analog percussion. And the shakers and tambourines cover everything from live instruments, set out on the keyboard in a way that allows you to program really authentic live patterns. As well as the machine version, reverberant tambourines, and some great live percussive effects. The hats cover everything from 808 and electronic styled hats, to bespoke analog and acoustic recorded hi-hats, We've got some great vintage hats in here. And of course, a few menus of traditional sample pack styled hats. So that's it for this first video on the F9 Toolkit. Don't forget to check out the other videos that will talk you through uh, the highlights of the rest of the content. And also go to the product pages and check out the extensive audio demos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.